It's now to a quiet college campus in Ohio that's been rocked by a recent string of hate speech incidents. The latest forcing officials at Oberlin College to cancel classes on Monday. NBC's Tan Trong is at the school this morning. Tan, good morning to you. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. Police here in Oberlin tell us a federal investigation is underway. This after the sighting of someone here on campus wearing what looked like a white hooded robe. Now students are uniting against a rash of hatred. We'll never be divided! The people united! Tight knit Oberlin College coming together Monday rallying against messages of hate posted around campus. It's disturbing, it's, um, it's scary, it's frightening. We think that racism does not get in in Oberlin. Oberlin is not a bubble. Since early February, more than a dozen incidents of racial and homophobic slurs on handmade signs, most featuring a Nazi swastika. The latest case over the weekend, a report of a person on campus in what appeared to be a hooded gown. A report authorities had been unable to confirm. It was completely scary. Everyone in that room was like crying, shaking, and they were completely scared for like the whole night. School officials quickly canceled classes. The small college of roughly 3,000 students is known for its openness to diversity and proud of its history as being one of the first colleges to admit black students, dating back to 1835. My initial reaction was and is anger, you know, anger that uh, that you know, someone would, um, you know, would, would spread this kind of uh, material throughout our community. Lena Dunham, an Oberlin alum and creator of the HBO series Girls, took to Twitter. Hey, Obies, remember the beautiful, inclusive, and downright revolutionary history of the place you call home. Protect each other. The masses here sending their own message. We just need unity for it to stop. We have to show that we are not pleased with what's going on and we have to take a stand. And Oberlin police say two students are being investigated for the string of incidents. They have not been identified yet, but the, clearly the message has been set that their actions won't be tolerated. Classes resume today, Matt. All right, Tan Trong in Oberlin, Ohio this morning. Tan, thank you very much.